so in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a website or any application in the cerebras uh, llama coder so first of all you need to open the website and then you can type the prompt and then you can click on uh, generate button and it will create the website for you so i just created the tutorial application you can see i'm adding the task and now it's adding the task as well and if i click on delete button it will delete the task as well so not only this you can try different prompts like right now i am trying i need a weather app so whenever i click on generate button it will create a weather app in just one second so i can click on review button and it will open the website in another tab and i can check it out there so let's try one more prompt here so i will type uh I will type the prompt here so I just type the prompt for document converting website and it created a website for me so here is a prompt it's mentioned like I'm looking for a skilled web developer to build a website that can convert various document types so I just need to copy it and I need to paste it in my uh, llama coder and then I will click on generate button and it will generate the prompt for me sorry it will generate the website for me so before that i will put it there and i will just click on the red button and you can see there it created the website for me and i can look it in the new tab as well so there are three options for converting the files design is very well it's responsive i can see in the responsive mode as well so if i resize the window design will stay responsive so not only this you can also test it on different uh, websites so let's try another one so far now i will just ask it to create a calculator app that can uh, uh, you use to uh, build different operations or to do something specific so i just ask it and it created the uh, calculator app so i will just preview it and i will do some buttons actions there so it's working very well um maybe there can be some reasons uh, some of the buttons cannot work but mostly this will work outstanding so you can click on different buttons and you can click on the operations so right now it's showing me error when i try to click on uh sign or cause function but you can obviously check the code and you can make the adjustments or you can ask it to fix the errors as well by the way design is very good it's looking very well like as you're expecting and now we can obviously uh, try other things as well on this okay so anyway let's try some calculation here so i will do some random calculation here and let's see if it does or not so it does very well okay so i think i don't know the syntax to use the tan or sign function there as well okay so i'm just saying can you make it a simple calculator and i will try it so i think it just made some changes in the same code but it did not create a new calculator for me so let's try another prompt create a calculator so i think it's still same so it just create creating or making changes to the same application or to the same code not only this i can copy this website and i can open in the new tab because it don't uh, ask for login so i can um, create as many as i want uh, so i can open in multiple tabs so i just open the new tab and i asked it to create a calculator and there you go so i can see the calculator here on the live so i'm just um checking it on another tab and it's working very well so that's great i think so this is very fast uh llama coder you can obviously check it and i will attach the link in the description and now let's try one more thing okay so i have few other things to tell you like you can obviously check your previous variants that you build on this application okay so i built this calculator there so if i click on previous button so you will be able to see previous versions of the, uh, of the application like you build a different application it will show you different applications as well so i build these types of application like Dodo app weather app and many other you can see there so in other tab i just build this calculator so you can see only version one is there okay okay so these are the features obviously there are many other things 
let's try one more thing when you create a website structure with or like fiber with text cards on main section so let's do it okay it created it in a second and let's see it in the new tab there you go it's working very well it's looking amazing it's obviously responsive and looking amazing so i will obviously ask you to make it with blue color in the nav bar okay so i asked you to add the blue color in the nav bar and also put some more gigs or content in the gigs okay and i asked you to increase the number of gigs as well so let's try it and let's see what it does okay there you go it changed the nav bar color and it added four gigs i will refresh the page and there you go so everything is updated so it's very fast i think i just type the prompt i click on button and there you go that's it and you know you can see it's looking very well now i wanted to show the gigs in three gigs in a row let's see if it does or not i think it will not do because it's limited to html only maybe it can try uh, with bootstrap so right now it's trying with bootstrap but i think for some reason it's not adding three row in a, a three gigs in a row so no problem i will ask it again maybe it can fix or we will proceed to the next part why not two gigs are showing in a row i need to show three gigs in a row can you adjust it okay let's see okay it did something let's refresh okay not showing or maybe we we can check the code or we can open it in new tab or we can resize the screen to see if it does or not so i think there's some problem so obviously this is new in the market so there will be some limitations but overall it's looking very well and it's doing great job so you can see i think there is problem it's not able to show three rows or three gigs in a row so that's not a problem or big deal obviously we can adjust the push step code to make it three gigs in a row okay so that's it now let's move to the next prompt so i just typed i need my portfolio website can you create it okay there you go and now i will open in the new tab and you can see it created already basic website for me so there is project one project two and project three obviously i will ask it to put more content if i provide the content of my services it will fill in the content okay so let's move to the next prompt. so i need to create i need to create uh maybe notes taking app okay so i will type i need to create a notes taking app so it just created there's navbar with a blue color so i think it's better in context management too okay so i will type new note new note content i will save it and in the background i just seen that okay if i open this in the new tab you can add it or delete the new note as well i press the delete note and it just deleted it and i can create another note there okay so you can see it's working very well so it's just creating new note there perfect so that's looking amazing i will create another note there and now i will save it perfect so it's looking very well now so i think we need to just delete the notes and we can move to the next poem now okay so it's looking very well so you can obviously fork on your local machine as well you can click that button and you can fork it on your local machine you can run it with your own api key and these are the tokens that you currently have it's showing on the bottom side and these are some um these are a few things that you can obviously check like copy button it will copy the code if we refresh this page in the web view and you can obviously share your project version with your friends or with your teacher as well if you like this video you can obviously subscribe the channel and you can check the other videos and i will see you in the next video